Imagine, if you will, the perilous waters of the ancient world, a time when the sea was as much a source of wonder as it was a harbinger of doom. Mariners and explorers, driven by the promise of discovery, often found themselves confronting the unfathomable mysteries of the ocean. Among these mysteries, none has captivated the human imagination quite like the myth of the sirens, their haunting melodies said to lure sailors to their demise. But was the sirens' call real? A tangible threat lurking in the ancient seafaring tales, or merely a figment of mythological invention? To unravel this enigma, we must first delve into the origins of the siren myth. The sirens, in Greek mythology, are depicted as creatures with the body of a bird and the head of a woman. They resided on rocky islands, singing enchanting songs that bewitched sailors, coaxing them into a fatal embrace with the jagged coastlines. Homer's Odyssey, one of the earliest and most influential texts in Western literature, provides a vivid account of Odysseus's encounter with these mesmerizing figures. By instructing his crew to block their ears with beeswax and tying himself to the mast, Odysseus ensures their safe passage, forever embedding the sirens in the tapestry of maritime law. But to consider the sirens' call as merely a fantastical element is to overlook the layered tapestry of human experience and environmental understanding contained within these ancient narratives. It has been suggested by some scholars that the myth of the sirens could be rooted in real acoustic phenomena experienced by sailors in certain geographical areas. For instance, the wind passing through the rocky crevices of islands could produce eerie, melodious sounds, which, to the ancient mariner, might indeed seem supernatural. Furthermore, the tales of the sirens could embody the very real dangers of navigating unfamiliar and treacherous waters, anthropomorphized into beguiling creatures as a means of conveying caution to those who dare venture into unknown territories. Moreover, the emotional resonance of the siren myth speaks to the universally human feelings of temptation, danger, and the unknown. The image of a sailor, drawn irresistibly to the source of a beautiful yet fatal melody, parallels the allure of the unattainable or forbidden that persists in human culture. It's a poignant reminder of the high stakes of exploration and the often razor-thin margin between triumph and catastrophe. The siren's song, then, could be said to symbolize the inherent risks of yielding to temptation, as well as the courage required to confront and resist it. In considering the possibility of the siren's call being real, it's also important to acknowledge the role of oral tradition in preserving and transforming these tales through generations. The ancients had a profound relationship with their environment, interpreting its signals in a manner that intertwined the natural and supernatural. In such a context, the siren's call can be understood as a narrative device that bridges the gap between explanation and experience, danger and desire, caution and curiosity. Therefore, while the sirens as literal beings may not have existed, the essence of their call a metaphor for the unpredictable perils that lie in wait for those who navigate life's seas, undeniably resonates with the stubborn and adventurous spirit of humanity. It immortalizes the eternal dance of humans with the unknown, cautioning us about the dangers lurking beneath the allure of uncharted territories. Be it in the vast oceans of the ancient world or the equally profound depths of human endeavor. So, was the siren's call real? In a literal sense, perhaps not, but as a symbol of the dangers of the sea, the enticement of the unknown, and the timeless human struggle with temptation, its truth is as undeniable as the waves crashing against the shore.